Hello everyone and welcome to the Crypt News channel. We are continuing to study technical analysis and today we will consider figure patterns, another method of analyzing the chart, so we decided to talk about it. Figures are understood as repeated patterns of price movement, knowing which you can also decide to buy or sell. The human brain is designed in such a way that it tries to find patterns and associations in everything. As a result, traders found those patterns on absolutely chaotic movements of stocks in the form of triangles, head and shoulders, flags, wedges, etc. As in candlestick analysis, there are trend continuation patterns and reversal patterns. The simplest and most popular figure is the triangle. A triangle is a two-sided figure, finding it on the graph is easy, just remember your geometry classes at school. The simplest and the most popular figure is the triangle. A triangle is a two-sided figure, finding it on the graph is easy, you just have to remember your geometry classes at school. So the building rules are those. It is drawn by four points, two at the lower border and two at the top. A small but not excessive price is allowed to go beyond the figure, it's called false breakdowns. One corner should be straight because a symmetrical triangle is already a pennant. In fact, there are no differences, but for formality this moment can be highlighted. It is better to look for a figure as a part of continuation of the global trend. A triangle can be upward or downward, in addition to the triangle, there is also a pennant, a flag and a wedge. A wedge is a cross between a flag and a pennant. Its lines are directed towards each other, but they do not converge so close. Wedges are a very popular variety of technical analysis figures. They are often used to determine the trend reverse the zone. On the graph, you can see the falling wedge and its completion a double or triple top or bottom is the easiest to find reversal pattern. It is enough to see how the price forms at extremum twice at the same level as is in the image. During the construction, minor false breakdowns or jumps or the resistance lines are allowed. It is better to open a deal only after confirmation, securing support. And now, the true classic of the reversals, which is head and shoulders. And this is probably the most famous figure in technical analysis in the world. It consists of three peaks, where the average is above all, accordingly two shoulders and one head. The neckline at the same time connects the two minimum values of the extreme vertices. As a rule, the neckline should be tilted towards the upcoming trend reversal, so the figure is considered better working. Entrance is done on the third peak or on the breakdown of the neckline. Another method is to measure the distance from the head to the neckline and focus on the movement of the price at a given distance. We will not describe all the figures, since the principle is quite simple and easy to find on the chart. Here are all the existing figures, detailed information about them can be found on the internet. Now we'll try to find these figures on the chart. So we're going to the website of our broker, which is CryptoRocket, and now we're going to log in into the web platform. We're opening the demo account, and we're opening the chart right now, and we'll try to look to find the figures that we have talked about in the video. So, as you can see here, this is a triangle. This is a wedge. In here, we can see a double bottom. Oh, in here, as we can see, there is the famous head and shoulders pattern. As you can see, the middle peak of the three is higher than the two side peaks. As you can see, it was quite easy to find all these figures and patterns on the chart. In a trend, technical analysis works like a clock. What do you need in order to earn? Yes, almost nothing, just knowledge what triangles and flags are, 
how to answer a deal and how to exit on time, as well as how to determine the trend and levels, but more on that in the next lesson. We'll see you soon. Bye!